Beautiful sunrise this morning. We have a little bit of the clouds still coming in from the east, and we also have that marine influence, but it's not quite as thick. So Camarillo this morning waking up to some gray skies, and some of our beaches will probably stay under some gray conditions because that marine inversion is rather thick. The land heats up faster than the water, and so because we're looking at very hot temperatures, we're definitely going to see a little bit more cloud cover near the coast. 61 degrees right now for the Camarillo area. Here's a look at all of that activity uh, just to the east of us. This is what's going to trigger those afternoon thunderstorms and showers again. Again, here in the Southland, we saw it yesterday. We're probably going to see a little bit more of it as we head toward the rest of the afternoon because we still need that daylight as that sun is coming up right now to kind of cook the atmosphere with that unstable air. So that's what's going to trigger a lot of the activity later on in the afternoon. But take a look at our muggy cast as the morning goes on. We're starting to see a lot of the emojis. The mouths have the little line across it, meaning that a lot more of that humidity is really starting to pour in. And with that humidity, I'm sure you may have noticed your hair getting just a tad frizzier in some in some areas because our dew point, which is another good form of moisture measurement in our atmosphere, normally in the mid 50s, so that gives you that nice sleek look. But then as we get into the upper 50s, low 60s, which is what we're dealing with now with all that monsoon flow, it's going to start to get a little wavy. I kind of like it because it gives that volume. That's why our hair looks a little nicer this morning. Uh, here's a look at that satellite radar tracker. So again, isolated thunderstorms and showers very possible as the old saying goes when thunder roars, head indoors because lightning is sure to follow. And we do have dry lightning strikes associated with a lot of these monsoon thunderstorms. And then We'll continue to see more of it through the afternoons and evenings as we head toward the weekend. But the good news is that once we head toward the weekend, we slowly start to see a little bit of that humidity leave the area, but it's still going to linger and it's still going to make it feel a little sticky for our liking here in the Southland because we just like it when it's really dry uh, in Southern California. But we're definitely going to see much more of this activity as we head into the rest of the weekend because that high pressure system is sitting right over the Four Corners region. Highs today, mid 80s for LA and Orange County, upper 80s by tomorrow. Valleys will have triple digits for the weekend and then the Inland Empire a lot hotter with triple digits from now till about Monday. Back to you.